you wanted me to post for you how to clean out your EGR valve and get it working again. And here it is. This EGR valve has a half million miles on it and looks completely fine other than those, really that one part. I will also do another video that shows how I got the EGR valve off of my VNL 2013 Volvo uh, without removing the airbox, without removing um, any fender well or anything. So it came off, once I figured it out, it came off pretty easily. Here we have the EGR valve. Um, after these four big bolts come out from right here on the square, you start pulling this apart just realize that the way that lines up it actually slides out to the side once you pull it out so far you've got to push it out to the side and don't lose there's a little washer that goes in there don't lose that so that'll go right in there and help properly seat those services together Basically, as you push down on that, you can see the little washer in there. And then comes back down. There are two different plates. There's that plate in there. And then there's a lower plate that comes down and plugs that side off. Okay. But what's interesting is when you first pull this off and this is still connected, if you push on this, it it, one, it's very tough to push, and two, it should spring back like that, right? When you're done pushing it, if you push it in with your finger, it should just spring back immediately. So we're going to try and refurb this part so that it springs back. Here's the completed... This bolt is three eighths, three eighths. Just a solenoid. Clean that up. Okay, top of this, right there, that small hole, nine sixty-fourths was the Allen wrench I used. It's one on each side, one there, one there. Pull this apart and we're into. So let's see. Looks like I can just lift. Oops, sorry, lift that spring out of there. Good. That should be so easy to push around that that little spring in there just pushes it right back. Gonna go ahead and pop that off and see what comes out, see if we can clean it up. Okay, so I popped that out and pushed that up and this came out one side's got a uh, an edge to it and that was face down like this that went face down on the top of that now that i've got it cleaned up is actually an o-ring there is a ring clip really small holding that in just used a little pick and popped that off of there so let's see if it comes apart now and it does that just pops right out oh there's a washer on top of that that's on the inside the other side was the uh the bottom right there that's the side you look at so it goes into it that way um and then there's all that junk that's basically making my uh EGR valve stick at the top. There's actually a washer on each side of that. So the washer goes on, then the clip goes on. That's on that side. Clips onto that little ridge right there. But then here, this, like, that is filthy in there. There's another spring clip. So let's take that off. Back side used a socket and knocked that. I think I found the problem. So, that you take off, and there's a little orifice. 
I can just push this all the way out the other side. The small port goes to the back side of this. This is the part that has all that corrosion all over it and also is not allowing this to slide back and forth through it and is actually when it seats against right here that's where all that gooey like hot oil has been building up and sticking those together so that is where the main issue is this rod earlier had this piece on it which I just took off and I'm glad I did because additionally like that other piece of brass it's just corroding in there uh, heat fatigue but then see that right down here at the bottom let's see that's another seal but I'm gonna reuse this in the condition that it's in I can't imagine that they would put this port on the side of this like the designers put the port on the side of this knowing that that needs to that part needs to be oiled and then just putting a plug in it and not use here's it. the culprit unfortunately i thought that was all one piece kept working on it as i cleaned this bottom edge that seemed so bad this and that came apart that is hollow down in there okay so here's the new piece i made <clears throat> that sits on top of that right there there's that guide bushing you can see that this one's just destroyed so i made this one out of cold rolled steel and it's tough to tell but there's actually a slit from right here to right here it goes back into the body of that but if i put any solvent down there it just it all comes out right here Let's talk really quickly about the solenoid side and right what's going on right here. Okay, I just pulled on that. And this is what it looks like on this side. That's the side that goes in and then it's concave on this side on that part sticking out. So kind of convex, goes in, concave. Just got that O-ring off. It's not your standard, it's not your standard O-ring, so be careful with it. It's, uh, don't know what it is. This is the solenoid piece. I've taken it apart once before, but now, as you can see, it's all rusty in there. This side's also a little rusty, so when I put this back together, I'll put some kind of oil on it WD-40 something to just kind of prevent the rusting after I clean it up so there's a screen down in here and I uh, can't really see any other parts in there but I've banged on this a couple times and it seems to be pressed in um, the diameter on this side is a little wider than this side so I'm probably just gonna clean that by hand and in case there are any rubber parts in there or anything, which I don't think there would be, but, you know, better safe than sorry. So right here, I put air through here, this hole, and that's just, you can see the threads down in there. That's just tapped through. So this hole and this hole are just... Um, for the bolts to hold in nothing else this piece that's not coming off but it's just shielded and it's like that so i'm leaving it where it is ideally if i could take my truck down every 300,000 or so miles and clean out the egr valve um go ahead and steam out the filter steam the egr cooler i don't i don't i don't know that i would ever have a problem with my truck with that part of the system. I think we'll just keep running. I hope that helps you. And if you need anything else, just let me know. And we'll go ahead and uh, try and send you the information you need. Uh, talk to you soon.